Traffic a lot of people in St. Louis are happy to see. After nearly two years, these are some of the first cars to pass over the brand new Kings Highway Bridge. It's about a third of a mile long. It is located at Shaw and Vandeventer, just south of Interstate 44. That's also where officials held a ribbon cutting earlier today. People there hope the bridge helps bridge a gap between neighborhoods of St. Louis. Two, one, open. A big pair of scissors and a march across the bridge. It just warmed my heart. I mean, it was really exciting. It also warmed my feet because I could run up and down it. I did, and it was great. All a welcome experience for these St. Louisans. It's good, nice and smooth. Oh my God, it's today. I can't tell you how excited I am to finally have this open. But that relief. It's wonderful is well earned. It was a long time in the making. A $21 million federally funded project was supposed to be finished last December, but construction crews dug up obstacles as they replaced the old bridge built in 1937. So we did get our money's worth out of it, but finally uh, we had to have this closure. That July 2015 closure caused problems for local businesses, drivers, and even churches. We, we lost some attendance, we lost some members that way. It wasn't without problems. But with four lanes of the bridge now open and the remaining two on the way, <laughs> seemingly only smiling faces could be found at the ceremony as this area tries to turn to the future. This is reconnecting places that have traditionally been divided and so to be able to connect uh, people both for business, for residents, for nonprofit, it, it's, it's really huge for the flourishing of the city. And a sidewalk will be finished later this year. Police officers.